SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to this video. If you're a new uh, viewer, uh, you have yet to, to subscribe, uh, go ahead. I don't know what's holding you back. If you're lurking, go ahead, subscribe, and then turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. All right, let's talk AT&T now. All right, this is something I think is really important. I caught wind of this several weeks ago. Uh, it was kind of internal at the time, so I didn't want to speak to it publicly. But I knew this was coming, and I think several other people did within the company. And it looks like at and is going to go ahead and they're going to pull the trigger. They're going to be working on improving their reputation and changing their image in the public eye. So in speaking to uh, or speaking at a Goldman Sachs uh, Communicopia conference, CEO John Stanky said that he was not satisfied with the U.S. wireless company's current brand image and that the company is not perceived by customers as being the best in all cases. So this is good. This means that they're going to be taking a very serious approach to rebranding their company. So they are perceived and looked at differently by customers. Now, there's a couple of things here. They're also looked at in a certain way by investors. Many people purchase the, the stock in the attempt to get the highest dividend yield, but they, they don't see it as a growth company. Meanwhile, AT&T has been growing for several quarters, consecutive quarters, uh, and they're doing very well, but the, the stock value is not changing. Clearly, there's some sort of disconnect there. They've already spun off most of the media assets into that new Discovery Inc. deal, and now they say they want to be the best in wireless, and they want to be the best in fiber. They want to be the best in connectivity. So they're going to launch a multi-year effort to change the brand image and find their, you know, and find their groove and perform as they believe they should. So there's a lot of things there that they can change. Uh, obviously, you know, we've heard speculation of a possible name change, right? The AT&T naming is a really old company name. It dates back into the 1800s. If you think about the history of AT&T as the American, you know, telegraph and telephone company. You know, and they were just all phone lines across the country. And at that time, they were just consuming competitors and they were monopolistic. Now, you know, they want to be seen as a true competitor and a growth company and a growth story. And they want to have the best in connections, whether it's fiber optic or it's wireless. So this is going to be expensive. This is going to be uh, require careful planning and it's going to be really dynamic. And who knows how they do it? But I can tell you right now, you know, a name change is possible, of course, on the extreme. Uh, but they've got systems that they can fix for their billing system. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, advertisement. They've got different things that they could do to make themselves more modernized, more nimble, uh, more attractive to customers and investors. There's things that they can do. What say you about this news? What do you guys think about this? Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Let me know what you think they're going to do. Uh, let me know what you think if they're going to be successful or not. Uh, are you happy to hear about this? Has, has this been some of the things that has kept you away from the company? Whether you are an investor or you are a customer or you're just an enthusiast of telecom. Let me know what you guys have to say on this matter. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss uploads. And we will have uh another video up and coming later so looking forward to that one we will see you guys on the next video peace